Hi, I'm Beth Brockett with Rule and Rule Realtors. So you've sold your house. No more keeping it show ready. Yay! Now you can really start serious packing. If you haven't already, get some boxes. I recommended in my last video blog these Baker's boxes. They work really well and you can get them at any of your um, office supply stores. Or you could get boxes from your place of work. They might have some empty um, pop uh, paper boxes, but I do recommend that you get boxes with lids. It really makes it all a lot easier. Mark some of the boxes, donations, resale, share with friends. You can look at my past blog at Brock at Home Room where you can find things about recycling your stuff after spring cleaning. You'll get ideas for what to do with the unwanted um, items that you have. If you have kids who grew up and have moved away but left their stuff, mark a box for each one of them. It's time for them to decide whether they love this stuff enough to keep it. Chances are their answer is no way. Why are you storing it? And while that might be hard for you to accept, there are some of your precious things that are just junk and they really need to be just be tossed. Start in any room. If you followed my advice, your closets, personal things, collections and photos and decorations are already pretty much boxed up. You might have to repack them to move, but they should be already taken care of. Just take one room at a time. It'll give you a better sense of accomplishment. Now is the time to think about what you'll be storing in the basement or garage or other storage areas in your new home. Clear plastic tubs really make a lot of sense. You can see what's inside them. Then that also protects the contents from, you know, any possible water damage or if there might be any bugs or possible rodents. So those are really good um, storage containers. I can't stress enough, mark your boxes on the top and on the sides. It'll help the movers and you. Be specific. It helps to try to keep things in similar, um, similar items together, but it's not always practical. So just write on the box, you know, it's a toaster, utensils, and my spouse's favorite mug. It'll really reduce the stress of your move if you can kind of figure out what's inside things. Let's talk about movers. You should definitely consider paying a little extra money to have the moving company pack you up the day before the move and store your things overnight. It's not that much more for having that overnight stay. During our recent move, this was a huge blessing. No worries about how you'll be able to close on the sale of the house and get out before the sellers are wanting in. You'll pay less if you have all of your stuff boxed already Beds are broken down and things are ready to go when they come. They pay on a um, charge on an hour rate, so have everything put together. Have fun with your movers and take good care of them. It's a really hard job. We use white glove movers and they were really awesome. As my husband said, if I were doing this, the walls would be chipped, furniture would be nicked, five times as many trips, and I wouldn't be able to walk for a week. It's worth paying for a professional. You know, as they were doing their job, it was really nice for us to be cleaning up behind them. What a great feeling it was to be all done cleaning, not have to go back to the house, just as they were moving off with the moving van. It's so much easier, too, to clean the house when it's empty. You know, and some of the cleaning can be done ahead of time. As you're packing things up and cleaning up cupboards, wipe out the um, cupboards and keep them all cleaned. Uh, that'll just save you some time in the end. Well, the house is empty now. What do you do? I rec really recommend that you treat yourself. You've had a hard day, you've got a big day ahead of you. It's super nice to stay in a hotel that serves breakfast, check in, take a shower, have a nice dinner and just crash. When you pack your bag, remember that the first day or two in the new place will be a little bit confusing. Take enough clothes for a couple of days where you know where things are at. Keep a few of your favorite things with you. I forgot this tip. Day two into the new house and I still couldn't figure out exactly where my soap and shampoo were at. A little extra planning ahead would have really helped out a lot. Thanks for listening, and I hope this helps reduce the stress of your moving. And remember, for all your real estate needs, visit brockethomes.com.